This morning, we are hearing from the Senate on it. 7 Eye Witness News reporter Matt Ove is live in our newsroom this morning. Matt, what are they saying? What's new this morning? Well, Katie and Ed, lawmakers we know are frustrated. And this morning, they're really hoping that there's some sort of solution out there. United States Senator Kirsten Gillibrand even sent a letter to the White House asking for some help here in New York State. And she wasn't alone. The Senate's majority wants to really highlight efforts to prevent prescription drug abuse along with ed adding educational programs and outreach in public schools, teaching students about all the dangers of these drugs at an early age. The Senate also voiced their opinion, saying there should be tougher penalties for heroin dealers and expanded treatment options. What we're talking about here today is the culmination of listening to people who are dealing with this epidemic on the front lines. These are not reforms that have originated in Albany. They originated in New York, out in the districts, out where people are dying, where people are fighting this epidemic. The senators also cited some pretty startling statistics that showed the differences between opioid-related deaths in 2003 compared to 2014. They increased 594 percent. Senators like Ort, who you just heard from, say that they really hope all of these proposals get done sometime by this year. The state budget for opioid-related incidents, $166 million. So they say the money is there. They just need to use it properly, and hopefully they can put an end or at least really lessen all of the things that are happening right now with drugs here in western New York and New York State as a whole.